85 years of age, feeling good, looking good. How do you feel? <laughs> good. <laughs> That wasn't easy, was so, it? So the secret, the secret of uh, longevity, other than your mother, is what? Well, I do think that's the beginning of it. You know, pick your parents well. Yes, good, good uh, DNA pool, uh, and then uh, take care of yourself physically and, and a good mental attitude. Did, and does surround it, yourself with young people. That really is a secret, isn't it? It helps absolutely, and it's helped till now. So, the, I can come to you in a second, because <laughs> you've got to listen and learn from this. Yes. 21, there's much to learn. Yes. Um, the relationship between the two of you, since we last spoke here in mm -hmm. Vegas, it really accelerated, and it changed to where you decided... It didn't change. No, no. <laughs> no, but it did when you think about it, because two years ago, he was still playing, and... I remember you telling me there was no sign of marriage, and then mm. it became two, then it became one, and now it's only. Mm -hmm. And this is now going to be a completely conventional marriage, yes? Mm -hmm. Well, as conventional as my life ever becomes, yes. And what does that mean? It means we're going to... Uh, <laughs> Feel free to jump in. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and smile. <laughs> well, That's I think I that one of, the, yeah, one of the reasons that uh, that this relationship really works is that you know she she, she doesn't want to change me uh, and uh, there was no hidden message in terms of that i just mean that you know at, at 85 you're pretty well set in your ways right and uh, uh after two and a half years together uh she knows what those ways are and she, and and loves me and i love her and it's, for me. It's, yeah it's it's good crystal does it start in the mind first who does what? Well, romance, love, yeah. caring. Yeah. Where does it start? Um, I mean, what it, did you in say? In the heart. <laughs> in the heart and then to the mind. You both are philosophical students, right? So you've got yeah. that compatibility. Mm -hmm. I think we don't take anything too seriously and just have fun and just keep having fun. Good times. A lot of loves and a lot of love and a lot of laughter. And. Um, in quotes a normal marriage we talk about babies we talk mm -hmm. about have you talked about those things no I, I mean I've never I'm you know I've never been the type that wanted children so. and so they're probably, I don't think Hefens wants you know you know I he has a perfect I, family yeah. <laughs> 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 That's true. I love them all. <laughs> so so Hef, here's the big question how does your life change now that you become a married man. And in I've celebrating with Marston now at 21 years of age, is this mm -hmm. the beginning of a shift of the captaincy? Well, I think, in a, yes, in a very real way, I think so. Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, you know, one sees a real transition here in terms of, uh, of the boys uh, coming forward. You know, they're, they're uh, uh, both, uh, he and Cooper are both in college, but will be out of college soon. Uh, and uh, you know, we're making the most of that in terms of high profile and and uh, a transition. So this could be the beginning of, of several changes: marriage, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, passing the keys to the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Marston, how do you feel about that on, on your 21st birthday? Does <laughs> <laughs> this suddenly come as a surprise out of the blue? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, it feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that covers it good. Um, you think you're following your father's footsteps, and Dad, do you want him to follow in your footsteps? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He's already he, he's already going with a girl that reminds me very much of Barbie. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I, I I was looking at at a, uh, uh, on the flight uh, coming in here today, looking looking at the two of them because. He, he does bear a striking resemblance to what I look like at his age, and uh, uh, and she is, uh, you know, striking a bigger version. Of, for, for, yeah, so you see the two of them together, and it's uh, you know, it really it, chips off the whole. Yeah, clock. absolutely, and I love it. I love it. Marston, how do you feel hitting 21? Does a whole new world begin to open up for you? Yeah, yeah, a whole new world opens up. Um, I'm I'm more shocked that. You know, my dad kind of sees me as taking the reins, but 
Get I'm happy. happy. <laughs> yeah. We just Why came didn't here, you tell we came me? here to have fun and celebrate their birthday. <laughs> and Mars is 21, and it's going to be fun. And we told him to get 21 shots, but he's not drinking. But either are we, so. That's good. <laughs> okay. So, Hef, one, one final question. Um, where do you go from here? Not physically, but... I mean, you're still young at heart at 85. You always said to me you're going to hit 100 and go beyond that. Well, I think it was, uh, it was uh, Sinatra who said, if you can survive to 105, think of all you'll derive of it, being alive. And uh, my mother lived to 101. So we got a good DNA poll here, and, and uh, I have never felt, never felt uh, more alive and happier. Uh, so we're looking to the future. And, and Miss Crystal has a lot to do with it. Oh yes, a great deal to do with it, yes. <laughs> What's the secret? <laughs> oh. We're not telling. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, it's that ma the magic water of the grotto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Great fountain of youth. Thank you.